Minecraft is an open world mining and crafting game that's been around for 15 years at this point. In those 15 years, it's gotten so many updates, so much so that you can play some versions of Minecraft in a web browser. Nowadays, you'd be lucky to even get a smooth 60 FPS on most hardware. And this is because of just how much stuff they put into their game after 15 years and 49 updates. Because my current .minecraft folder is around 40 gigabytes of size, and from looking around, the original cave game version of Minecraft was only under 100 kilobytes of files. And then I realized, Minecraft basically has its own storage in the game. Like look at redstone computers, they have a memory using barrels, droppers, heck even redstone blocks. But then, you look at the game itself. If you only want to count storage, like read only and not read and write, then I bet you by the end of this video, you could store one Minecraft instance a trillion, trillion, trillion times in a single Minecraft world. First we need to learn the basics. What is a byte? Well a byte is 8 bits that we can represent in redstone lamps, with one lamp being 1 bit, on or off. We get 8 of them and that's a byte of information, or one character on your keyboard, so just to write the script you need 18,000 bytes. Now that's a lot of bytes. But now, what's above a byte? Well we use something called scientific notations, more specifically the SI prefix system, to help us understand these numbers like kilobyte, megabyte, etc. So I should explain this. Each doubling of 1000 is a new prefix, or snuffix because it comes after. I don't know why they call it as prefix, but I'll call it as prefix. So 1000 bytes is a kilobyte, 1000 kilobytes is a megabyte, 1000 megabytes is a gigabyte, and 1000 gigabytes is a terabyte, and you guys probably knew about these names, same with a petabyte, but there's actually more beyond that. Beyond a petabyte is an exabyte, then zettabyte, then yottabyte, and in 2022 they actually added ronabyte and cutabyte after not adding anything since 1991, and then there isn't actually anything beyond that. So for later in this video when we reach these insane heights, I'll be using this reddit post that actually goes into devabytes, which is, um, one octodecillion cutabytes. Before anything else though, for the mega nerds, I'm not going to be using the correct calculations of 124 bytes is actually one kilobyte. I'll just be using a base pen, I don't know what you call it, so please don't tell me I'm doing it wrong, I already know. Now that we understand the measuring of data, how does this stack up in Minecraft? How I get it? stack stack up like a stack yeah well like i said a lamp is one bit so eight of those lamps is a byte and we get eight thousand lamps and we got a kilobyte however this is super inefficient because once you get into megabytes you need eight million lamps so let's use a different system a chest can store 27 stacks of items each stack being 64 items so that's 1728 items in a single chest which basically translates to 1728 bits in a single block how do we can fit 1700 28 bits in a block, that's about 216 bytes. So now, we only need about 4,629 chests to get a megabyte. And actually, with just a double chest, we're already in the data storage of the first computer. The Kinback 1, which had 256 bytes of info, which was actually not that big, but in Minecraft, it's the size of 2 cubic meters. But let's get back to the chest. We now need to get up to a gigabyte, and that would require about 4,629,000 chests, which is a bit out of hand. So we can get even more compact, because now that we can store in a chest, if we put a shulker in a chest with items, we can can store 46,656 bits in one block, or about 5,832 bytes. And actually with only five and a half chests, you can store how much data was on the Saturn V rocket, the rocket that took humans to the moon. So with this, we can now store a gigabyte in only this amount of space, 171,467 chests. Much better than the five million we would have needed. So now a terabyte. Like we said, a terabyte is a thousand gigabytes, so that's just, um, 171 million chests. Okay, we're out of hand again, so let's do the final form of data storage, a Minecraft book. According to the Minecraft wiki, one book can have 1,233 characters on one page. You know what that sounds like to me? 1,023 bytes. Why is it bytes instead of bits? Well, one character in a book is 8 bits to make up one character, so one character is just one byte, so 123 characters on a page is just 123 bytes. And to make big funny number, we'll convert this to bits so that 8,184 bits. And a single book can have 100 pages, which is 818.4 thousand bits per book. Then we can stack them in a stack of 16, so that's 13 million bits in one slot. And then we have 27 16 stacks in one shulker, so now we're at 353.5 million bits in one shulker, or 44.1 megabytes now. And then we take 27 of those, put them in one container, so now we're at about 9.5 billion bits, which is about 1.2 gigabytes of data in a single block. 
Now that we have a block that stores 1.2 gigabytes of data, what can we do? Well, with at least a double chest, we can outfit a single instance of Minecraft. And with 20 of them, we can store Minecraft plus an OS to run it. Granted, it would have to be Linux, but that's still Minecraft and the OS to run it. And Minecraft is actually supported on Linux. Now, how about some bigger numbers? The average OS install drive is about 500 gigabytes. So with only 419 chests, we now have 500 gigabytes of storage. Now for our terabyte, and it's actually not that much. With only 838 chests, you've got a terabyte right there in 838 chests. This is really efficient now, isn't it? Well, let's take it a step further. How about a petabyte? Well, we just take our number and times it by a thousand again. So that's just 838,063 chests, which looks like this. This right here is a petabyte in Minecraft. But we can go further. How about some real world stuff? like YouTuber servers. Well, let's take a look at LTT, Linus Tech Tips, one of, if not the biggest tech creator on the platform. The LTT server was shown to have 2.5 petabytes worth of data in Corridor Crew's video on data, which was actually a huge inspiration for this video. Back to Linus, given the fact that that video came out two years ago, we can probably guess that his editing server plus Vault has grown since then because of all of the server upgrades videos as well. So the best I can guess is that the LTT server plus its other servers are around six petabytes of data, and if it's not there yet, they will be within at least a year. So what would that look like in Minecraft? Well, if only 5 million chests, I've now got a bigger server than Linus in a game he tried to make a server for almost 5 years ago. It's crazy that we can fit 6 petabytes and only 5 million blocks in a game that came out 15 years ago. However, we are not done yet because this isn't actually the biggest server on YouTube. Mr. Beast. Well, a great time making this bit because as I'm editing this, all the Mr. Beast controversy is going around. We love to see it. Mr. Beast has said himself he works with petabytes and petabytes of data and that he has a multi-million dollar server i think we had like petabytes worth of footage have a multi-million dollar server rack so if we just do some guessing here with his new videos having around 300 cameras all recording at the same time for days we can assume that one mr beast video requires one petabyte to store all the raw footage so i have to guess that this man's got a 100 petabyte server or even more so let's just say it's 100 petabytes what would that look like in minecraft well this right here is 83.8 million chests in one minecraft world totaling 100 petabytes But anyways, with these 83.8 million chests, I now have the biggest data server on YouTube, but it's just for regular people. How about huge companies and supercomputers? This is where the fun begins. Data centers are what make up the internet. They're the actual physical places that host your sites like Google, Amazon, and Discord, or AIs like OpenAI and Copilot. And after looking around, it seems Discord might not even be over 100 petabytes in data, and one ChatGPT model is only like one terabyte, so we're just gonna be skipping these guys because they're too small. So Google, how much data do they have? Well, after some research, I concluded that Google has about 50 exabytes of data, which is 50 billion gigabytes, but for easier terms to understand, an exabyte is 1,000 petabytes. It also seems Microsoft has around 50 exabytes of data, so they're tied. So Google has 50 exabytes. We run that for our calculations. That's, um, what's 50 quintillion divided by 1.1 billion again? Oh uh, yes, you only need 41.9 billion chests to refer to Google. Really simple. Yeah, you heard me right, 41.9 billion chests. But that's okay, because we can fit that in a single Minecraft world, actually. So yeah, with only 41.9 billion chests, we can overtake Google plus YouTube. There's a bigger data hoard, Amazon. Amazon and AWS has around 250 exabytes of data. So now we just do 250 quintillion divided by 1.1 billion, and we get our number, and it's, it's um... To store all of Amazon in Minecraft, you would need 209 0.5 billion chests. This is such a large number, I don't know how to show it off. So here's a seed map, and if I had to guess, it would probably look like this. But there's one more thing we need to convert to Minecraft, the entire internet. The entire internet is made up of 300 zettabytes of info, which if you forgot, each zettabyte is a thousand exabytes, and there's 300 of them. So how will we calculate this? Well, we take our number of 300 zettabytes, which is a free followed by 23 zeros, and we divide this number by our total storage of one chest, which is 1.193 gigabytes per chest. So we do this, and it gives us our final number 251.4 trillion chess 251.4 trillion chess
for the entire internet stored in Minecraft. And guess what? This is only 0.018% of the Minecraft world's data capacity. So now we get to the real point of the video. What is the entire storage of an entire Minecraft world? And now time to say the funny line because we're here. It's quite simple, really. To do this math, you only need one key thing. How many blocks can you fit in one Minecraft world? Well, let's do the calculations. One Minecraft world is 40 million blocks in the positive direction and 30 million blocks in the negative direction, which is 60 million by 60 million blocks. So that's already, oh God, how many digits is this? 3.6 quadrillion blocks for one slice. Now we take our 3.6 quadrillion blocks and times that by the combined world bottom and height build limits. So that's 384 blocks from the bottom of the world to the top. And we take our number 384 and multiply our quadrillion number. That's Oh god, we got an E plus number. Yay! Hello, fellas. Have you ever done insane calculations and encountered an E plus number and didn't know what the heck that meant? Well, it's really simple to explain and convert. Well, basically, in a number like this, 1.3824E plus 18 is really simple. The run represents the top number, so we can put that on a notepad as one. Then the 3824 represents the numbers that aren't zeros, so we can add that as well on a notepad. So 13824. And then the E plus 18 basically means how many digits are in the number before the top number. So this includes our numbers that aren't zeros. So basically it's a one, then the numbers, then E plus 18, it's 13824 followed by 14 zeros. So that's how you convert E plus to actual digits or you could use a site like this and instantly convert anyway side quest completed how do we know the digits of our e plus number that's 1.38 quintillion blocks in a single minecraft world okay if we forget for a moment what we're about to do if we count one block as a bit already a minecraft world can store 172.8 petabytes of info without us even doing anything how can a minecraft world even store that much data what all right time for us to step in now what we do is we take our world size and we we replace every single block with a chest filled with strugglers, filled with bucks. So we take our number 1.38 quintillion and times that by 1.19 billion, it gets us our final number, which is, drum roll please, 992,60,008,744,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,
not even a full five runabytes. But you saw the chapter name, infinite data. If we can see a number, this isn't actually infinite data. So even though you can store everything in just 4.9 runabytes, we can go further. Chess minecarts. A chess minecart can hold as much as a chest. However, because it's an entity, we can store more than one chest in a single block. So what if we had two chests per block? Well now we're at 9.8 runabytes. Another two per block, 19.7 runabytes. So we've done it. Infinite data. So how much would we need to hit a cutabyte? Well, if only 208 chests for each block in our 1.83 quintillion block roll times three, we now have a cutabyte of info. But what the heck is a cutabyte? This number is so unbelievably big that there is only a few ways for me to show it to you. To reach a cutabyte with regular hard drives, with the biggest drive being the 100 terabyte exit drive made by Nimbus. Really? Their name is Nimbus? Like flying Nimbus from Dragon Ball, okay. You would need 10 quadrillion 100 terabyte drives. Oh, not to mention the size of this or the cost. To even fit 100 quadrillion drives all with a form factor of three and a half inches, you could fill all the land on Earth. But if you made a perfect line stacked with the long side next to each other, it would reach from Earth to the sun almost 10,000 times. The distance from Earth to the sun is 94 million miles, and it can travel that almost 10,000 times. And then the cost of all of these drives. The 100 terabyte extra drive costs $40,000. So times that by 10 quadrillion, you're looking at a check of 400 quintillion dollars just to get all the drives you need to fill the Earth with. Alright, how about another skill to represent 1 no million? If you had a TV with a pixel count of 1 no million and a pixel density of a 4K 50 inch TV, that TV could fit 510 million Earths inside of it. Okay, but back to Minecraft. What now? Well, we now have infinite data. So how much would it take to get a devabyte? The unofficial name for an octovigillion tillion byte. All right, why do stupidly high numbers have such stupid names? Like really? Well, you need to fill each block with 202 octodecillion chess minecrafts across the 4.19 quintillion block worlds. And there, you now have one devabyte in Minecraft, a number so big is impossible to imagine and the data is basically infinite, which now means we can fit a trillion, trillion, trillion Minecraft instances in one Minecraft world. Big thanks for all of you for watching this video and my other videos. And big thanks to Corridor Crew and Matt by Wings for their data videos, which was a big inspiration to make this one. If you want to watch those, they're in the description, and you'll also find a fact sheet of how I did all the math for this video. Or if you want to just watch more of my stuff, click here to watch how I made the world's fastest redstone keyboard in Minecraft. Also, we have memberships and supers now, so if you want to donate to me, you can anyways.